We have a lot of things we're going to talk about today, one of which was an email that came in this morning. I have to show you this and tell you about if you're an investor in precious metals, if you are getting a little bit frustrated, your patience is being tested, you've got to see this set up on the chart. It's actually going to be really big. Also, I figured I always talk about stuff and if it's important to you, it's going to help you save money, preserve money, avoid risk, make money. I always have pieces of it on my screen, all different components, and sometimes I put them together to make a video. And I realized what might be easiest is why don't I just read to you in this video what's on my screen right now. Welcome to the channel. My name is Peter Leeds. And we're all about getting you profits quickly and easily. Case in point. From a buck to over four dollars in a couple of months that's from jason thanks so much man you're doing awesome gas prices climbed to their highest level of the year 388 a gallon normally gas prices cool off after the summer driving season ends on labor day but the opposite has happened this year as saudi arabia's and russia's aggressive supply cuts lift oil prices this is from cnn the oil market rally is also being driven by the catastrophic floods in libya that's a horrible situation and easing of U.S. recession fears. Taking the record is California, prices five sixty nine a gallon, up by 49 cents in the past month. And this is all in addition to everything else that's going on. You're having more costs to pay any floating rate debt. Interest rates are going up. You've got inflation. Grocery prices are increasing. So what do you do about it? That's what a lot of our solutions involve. But you got to figure out what you're going to do about it. But you just have to keep an eye on everything, first of all. And that's what I'm trying to help you do. And then you can make your own decisions, what's best for you based on the information you have and the way you think about things. And I'm going to read you a quote. This is also from CNN. It's going to show you that this auto worker strike is not going to stop anytime soon. And there's a lot of financial pain that comes out of this for the companies and for the workers who are already struggling from everything else that we talked about. We're prepared to do whatever we have to do, UAW President Sean Fain said. These companies have made a quarter of a million dollars in the last 10 years. 21 billion in the last six months alone and our workers wages and conditions went backwards and when you talk about the writer strike the actor strike and all the strikes that you saw the unionizations of starbucks all over the place i told you when the first starbucks unionized it was the beginning of all of this and as you guys know the big thing going on this week is the federal reserve deciding if they're going to raise interest rates leave them unchanged maybe even lower them Everybody else is talking about it, and so I just step aside. 99% of financial analysts are expecting no increase or decrease in the interest rates right now. Since so many people, so many analysts are expecting it to not change, 99%, I said, and that was a number I got from CNBC, I believe, might have been CNN. So the real important thing here is only if the Federal Reserve does something that is not expected. Everyone's expecting no change. So if they do raise rates, that's going to have a massive deteriorous effect on the market and free people out a lot. But if they lower interest rates, that would have a massive beneficial effect on the markets and people's psyche. Think about first, when you're investing, what is everyone expecting is going to happen? And the opportunities and the changes are from when what the Federal Reserve does is not what was expected. Or when something happens that was not expected, that's where all the profits and opportunity can come from. And this email came in at the perfect time. I was working on today's script, and it came in from Jamil. And he's got a couple of charts here I want to show you while we're talking about this. He says, Peter, at times I get discouraged about my massive position in gold and silver, especially silver since it has the higher beta. In time and time, I have to remind myself why this is going to work out, and I need to be patient. Absolutely, and I would also say that to you guys as well. It's just to you because I think that we're, and as you're seeing just a second, I believe we're just at the absolute incredible inflection point. You're going to love this. You're going to love it if you're an investor in silver or gold. Jamil goes on to say, I did some research and what I concluded is that there's a commodities super cycle. Right on. Nice catch, Jamil. Look at the first chart below. This compares stocks versus commodities, and it looks as though we're in the fourth year. Super cycles don't just come and go. They last for a while. Meanwhile, we don't see commodity super cycles without gold prices participating. Textbook cup and handle if I've ever seen one. Exactly. Technical analysis says the longer the base, the higher price when it does break out. I just need to be patient and stay at the course. Exactly as we all do right now. Especially because look at this chart. What you're seeing here is a cup and handle pattern setting up in gold futures. The beauty of a cup and handle pattern 
is after the handle when it breaks in, it's almost always a really aggressive move higher in a relatively short time frame. So you're not looking to make 5% off a cup and handle pattern. That's generally showing you when everything's turning around, it's gonna start climbing aggressively. And here's what I wrote back to Jamil this morning. I love it, well researched and well said. I will actually mention this email in my video today. I was literally putting the last touches on the script just now when your email came in. Great timing and very encouraging. I'm a huge believer in gold and precious metals. Thanks again, Jamil. And the payoff will be worth the patience. That's the part I wanted to read to you. The payoff will be worth the patience. It's actually getting frustrating how long this is taking to play out. And I've been seeing this coming for so long, but I was early, which is the same as being wrong. If you've got any gold mining companies, silver mining companies, gold or silver precious metals invested in the stocks, invested in any way in precious metals, this may be marked by the cup and handle pattern. This may be the breakout that we've been waiting for and talking about for so long. And the breakout won't be small when it breaks out. It will be huge when it breaks out. And it may never look back. If I seem low energy today is because I'm partway through a 72 hour fast. And that's kind of like reading the Game of Thrones book before the show became popular or eating gluten free bread. You need to tell people about it, even though you know deep down that they do not care at all. <laughs> and I know you guys hear this all the time, so you kind of shut it out. Not just for me, but from everybody. They're saying the same thing. We do hope that you're going to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get a lot more viewership, get our message out there. And I made some mistakes with this channel a few times, a few years back, and I don't think we've ever recovered from that. But I think the content is good. We're working really hard for you guys and I think you can really benefit from our message. So please help us out by subscribing to the channel. Please show your support by subscribing to our underrated YouTube channel.